Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to show you how to use your TI-84 Plus to solve linear equations. It's not intuitive, and you have to set everything equal to zero in order to use this calculator to do this, but if you had a complicated equation, it's a way you could put something in uh, to make sure. Um, I have other videos on the TI-84. You can find the link to the playlist in the description for this video. If you'd like to see something about the calculator that's not there, send me a message in the comments and I'll be happy to make a video about it. So the first equation I'm looking at I have here is 5x minus 3 equals 2x plus 6. And so we have information on both sides of the equation. So what I want to do is move the terms from one side to the other side. So I could subtract 2x from both sides and subtract 6 from both sides. And then I would get my equation to look like this which is how the calculator is going to want it. So to do the calculator uh, equations, you're going to hit on and then click on math. I guess I just turned it off, on, and then math. And then just go up one with the arrow key. You could go down, but it's quicker to go up until you get to solver and hit enter. <clears throat> now I have an old equation in there and an old answer. So what I'm going to do is just use my up arrow to go up and it's going to give me a chance to go up and I can hit clear and now I can start to enter my answer. I'm going to enter that 5 and then for x I'm going to use this button here. 5x minus 2x minus 3 minus 6. Now when I'm about to hit enter, which is down here, I'm going to hit enter. Notice that I have enter and I also have a green button that says solve. We're going to use that in a minute. But first I'm going to enter and all that's going to do is to put my equation into the calculator. It's not solved yet. That's still that 0.5 is my old solution that I had before, which you can think of as a guess, which is kind of what the computer likes you to do. And, and so we haven't seen a little box to the left side. We'll see that in a second. When it's actually solved for this equation, you'll see a little black square on the left side. That's how you know you've solved it. Now we've just entered it, and now to solve it, we're going to get to that green solve button that I mentioned before. And to get there, we're going to click on the green button alpha, and then the solve button down here, which is enter. And now you can see that to the left of that, x equals 3 is a little box. That means that they've solved it. And down here where it says left minus right equals 0, that means that in their program they checked and the, and the one side equals the other side. So that's how we know that they, they've checked it and it's correct. So the answer is x equals 3. Okay, let's do another one. I'm going to go to math and then up to solver and then hit enter. I'm going to go up and clear out that last thing that I had, clear. And now I'm going to enter one that has parentheses, 5, parentheses, I'm going to use this button for x again, minus 3 in my parentheses, minus 6. And remember, I can't have anything on the right side, so what I'm going to do is think about bringing that 7x over. And when it comes over, it changes sign. So the 7x becomes minus 7x, and the minus 2 comes over and becomes plus 2. So we always have to move everything over to the other side. We don't have to have it in the same order. It doesn't matter as long as it's over there and it has the correct sign in front of it. So minus 7x plus 2. And now I'm going to hit enter. And remember, that just puts it into my calculator. It hasn't solved it yet. I know because we don't see that little box to the left. 3 was my answer before, which the calculator is saying, do you think, you know, they just uses it as its guess. I don't know why that is. So now what I'm going to do is push um, second, push the alpha button here and the enter button to solve that. And that's going to give me the answer to this equation, which is negative 9.5. You could always go back and check to see that, but they have checked it. And this down here tells you, yes, that's checked. We now see the little box to the left, so we know that's correct. And finally, the last one I'll do looks a little more complicated, so let's do that one. I'm going to clear that, and then I'm going to hit uh, 1 half, 1 divided by 2, parentheses, x minus 6, in parentheses, plus 4x equals, and I don't want to have equals because it has to all equal 0, so I'm going to take that negative 9, and when I bring it over to enter it, it's going to become plus 9, and when I bring over this term, it's going to become positive 3x plus 2. So I'm just bringing that whole thing over as one term. And so I have the 4x 
and then I have plus 9, and then plus 3 parentheses x plus 2. So maybe this would save you some time, maybe it won't. You have to decide whether you think it's worth it. Now we're going to enter that. Notice I have my old answer there. It has not been solved yet. Alpha, enter, is going to solve that, and now it's telling me the answer is negative 1.6, and it had ran a check and believes that that's to be true. All right, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.